All right. <laughs> What's up, boys? It's your boy Medus back with another video of Alliance War. This is the final, final, final Alliance War for season 23. And boy, am I happy. I am happy because um, not only did we kick butts and take names, leaving with the taste of sours, vinegar in their mouth. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this I'm making this joke because I think I see Alt is there taking Nick Fury. Um Yeah, uh let's see how that one goes. Um I'm just checking my path. I have Thor Ragnarok on Ebon Flow Intercept. I have Abomination there. Just the usual. But anyways, I'm gonna talk to you about this season and how it started and how it took off. So we've been joking around, clowning around for the season. We were in Platinum 2, then we went up to Platinum 1, and then we decided to play um, play a bit more serious because we didn't, we didn't um, really push to get into Masters, nor did we push to get into Platinum 1. We ended Season 22 in Platinum 1, and then we decided Platinum 1 or Platinum 2 will take whatever comes. But then we decided to push for Platinum 1, and it wasn't a hard push. Um, unlike some other alliances who I saw in Plat well in Masters and gradually they just went from Masters, they went down in Masters, they went down to Platinum 1, they went down further in Platinum 1, they, they went down to Platinum 2 and then down to Plat... <laughs> you guys should know who I'm talking about at this point. But anyways, like I'm saying, um, this war was... The, we were already losing because I do not know much about the Brotherhood, but from what I heard, I started to put one and two together along the way. Um, the only odd thing about this one is when you look over to your defense and you see somebody moving and they do move to their lane and they take the first two fights, that's fine. Then you see somebody else move to their lane next to them take the other two fights and then somebody else move and take the other two fights as soon as that guy was done it's like it was perfect harmony i'm telling you the guys over at brotherhood i don't know how they do it but that's how it was done um then the funny thing is about 1 a.m on my time eastern time i did look at my battle group again and the same three guys moved in accordance. I mean, one guy moved, then the when he was done his two fights, the other guy moved, he done his one fight, he had an empty spot after. Then, when he finished moving to the empty spot, miraculously, the other guy moved. And I'm thinking to myself, these three guys are moving fairly, fairly good. But anyways, as you see here, my fight is almost done. What? Monica. Who the fuck is Monica? Say it slow. Who the makes you my goddamn? Who the hell is Monica? Say it slow. Monica. Say it slow. Ma le <laughs> Doom. Doom. <laughs> like I said, Doom can never fail you. Um, that's just Monica right there. Anyways. The next fight is magic. I really don't have to tell you guys about the magic. The T-Rex fight was nothing special. Um, the season came to an end and we have... I am very satisfied with how it ended. Um, boy, it was, it was a tough season. I mean, we started off poor. We started like... We lost about a lot of matches at the start of the season until we decided to play everything good and safe. Um... But apart from that, I had a lot of fun for this season. And the next fight I'm going to take is Havoc. Now, um, as you see my team, I have Doom, Warlock, and Quick. And now it is suggesting that the best champ to use is Warlock. But I am not going to use Warlock because of Heavy Heater. Um, power Alternator, not a, not a problem because Warlock will be draining um, Havoc power constantly. But the problem is heavy heater. You cannot counter his heavy. So for that reason, I am going to use the Queen of Og, and that's quick. 
I've been using Quake for quite some time now and I am just a lot more confident in using Quake than I am with using Warlock in this matchup. Quake makes it so easy that I do not have to worry about his heavy attack. Now, as you could see, I'm backed up into the corner and he's almost at a bar of power. So what I'm going to do is push him as far as I can and bait out the special attack. So now he has his special too. I am not going to hit him while he's turned because last time I did that, he never threw his special two and got his special three and pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Thanks to Swedia. Um, I was KO'd. Um, it wasn't a pretty sight. So I'm going to use Quake here and this fight should be over within about two minutes or less. Um, as you can see, I'm back in the corner. I'm going to wait for the aftershock and the concussions to come on him. Then I'm going to attack him like any normal person would do. He fired off his special one, which is fine because now he has about 25% health um, um, power, which is not a big deal because as long as he is cooperating with me right now, this fight would be over in a matter of seconds. As you could see, Monica. I should start calling Quick Monica. From now on, Quick is called Monica. Now, if you don't get it, <laughs> too bad. So moving, <laughs> moving along, the next, I'm going to slow it down here because um, this one, this one is special. I could see Nick's Fury has half his health. And then when I go up, I can see one. Guys, guys, I think it worked. Are they dead? No, mighty Thanos. Sensors indicate zero casualties. Really? What the farts, you guys? What kind of missiles are we using here? Shoot them again and do it right this time. Yes, my liege. <laughs> My boy out let me down and if you look at his doom, his doom was like almost dead. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking, but it's the end of the season. We don't care if we win or lose. Um, but that, that one was awesome. I mean, I was really rooting for him. Now, laughing at him, I'm going to laugh at myself on this one. You see, this one was a big error. So, Notch, who is my teammate, placed um, White Magneto um, pre-fight on call. So at this point, I'm on a phone call with Francisco and um, Jay online. And we were talking and, I, and I'm like, let me finish this fight real quick, guys. Hold on a second. Let me play. I have Doom, but instead of using Doom, I went in with Quake. Did not read the note. And then something came to mind. There's gotta be a way to save her, right? Nope. She's gone forever. That seems stupid. You have a time machine. I mean, yeah. Guys, we can just go back in time before Natasha died and then bring her here. We can do that. Apparently! Wait! You, uh... You don't make it. Huh? Yeah, you, uh... Um, you die. Yeah, so come with us. Okay. What just happened? Now Black Widow lives! Yeah! yeah! That's exactly what I was thinking of when this fight started because I'm on a phone call and I'm talking to the guys and I'm like, wait, I'm in this fight with Cog and I'm using Quick. Now, I don't know what the, I couldn't remember what the node was. And that's, that's the funny thing because I'm on a call and I'm laughing. We're, we're laughing at this situation because I'm like, okay, where am I? Where am I? And then at every single second, I'm like, why is this? Why is it constantly unblockable? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Didn't read the note, totally forgot about all the, um, everything that's, everything on the note, basically. I forgot everything. So we were on the call. So that's the reason you see me in the corner here, just quaking. As you can see, he's unblockable every single second. Every single second he's unblockable. And I'm thinking to myself, guys, <laughs> I need to find a way to come out of this fight. I can't keep quaking him. I got to parry him. And he's indestructible, constantly indestructible. Then I realized that um, he is immune to, oh, that's when I realized there was kinetic transference on that node as well. 
So, <laughs> you can see this match is already a disaster. Almost two minutes and nothing has been done because we're on the call trying to figure out what's the best way to get through this fight. Now, my teammates were like, yeah, you got it. Jay was like, man, I believe in you. You could do it. And I'm laughing. I'm like, yeah, now I got to think of a solution here. Because even when the aftershock is supposed to get on COG, like about now, most times he will not get stunned. He will be immune to it. Um, because I believe the there's also something on this node that um, says ability accuracy reduction is... Yeah, something with ability accuracy reduction. So I realized that wouldn't work. Um, so I got to fight him like a normal fight. Um, I'm going to at least wait until I could parry him, parry him, and then attack into him. That's the best solution I possibly had. As you could see, the armor break is on me, which is giving me free healing from willpower, which is fine because I do get hit a few times here and there. But AI is not on my side at this point. So I am just going to play this fight really slow. Now, this is not the first time I am in a bind. Um, I was in a bind with Captain Infinity War when I went against Doom. So this is not new to me. I love playing, I love playing Alliance War where I am at least thinking of my next move or where I'm low on health and I'm thinking how is the best way to get out of it. Now at this time you could see the clock. I was also in a bind with um, Stealth Spidey versus Invisible Woman. I'm going to get clipped here and I'm thinking okay a minute left I could finish this fight and I was happy at this point. I was telling the guys he's at 12% I gotta parry him. I got to get him down. But as you could see, he was immune to um, the aftershock there. So nothing came off and he didn't get stunned. But that's fine. Um, willpower helping me out. I just have to find a place where I could thank parry you, him. Clifford, you the man. Oh, I am, am I? You the man. Well, thank you very much. All right, brother. I'm in the house. You in the house. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ult told me that I look like Clifford, um, one of the Muppets. So, that's why I put that little clip there because I, I found that to be funny. Because that fight was epic. <laughs> that fight was epic and I was dying of laughter. Fran and G, uh, I'm telling you. Guys, that was rule number one. When you play in Alliance War, do not go on, uh, do not go on live. Or do not go on a call and think the fight would be um, easy because shit happens. And <laughs> once shit happens, it's just going to go downhill from there. So as you can see, the next matchup is um, um, Doom versus Thor Ragnarok. Now, I do not have to talk about this one because obviously it's a simple fight. And I had that fight... Um, Sometime, yeah, last war, which is fine. So another thing is what I'm going to talk about is my season, basically. Um, I'm just trying to find the love for Alliance War again, um, the competition, really. Like, I play um, Marvel Contest of Champions, but the competition is what I really enjoy about marvel contest of champions um and we only get competitions in alliance war um story mode simple when you have mostly all content completed it's it comes to a point where what do you do next and the only thing you can do next or possibly do next in my case is alliance war that's why i have tons of alliance war videos um I am going to focus mostly on nodes instead of Alliance War, com the complete Alliance War um, paths and matches. But as you could see, he's at um, three bars of power. So I had to push and get that um, two bars and finish it off with that um, special two. But that was that fight. With only like three minutes and ten seconds left, Thor is down. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, so basically... Um, 
it's it's difficult. Um, so I I do have videos where that I could talk about different matches and different fights that will help people out. But I think it's easier to do that when you focus on one one match at a time or one node at a time, like it was suggested to me. Um, this one between Warlock and Rhino was a messy one. Um, like I said, um, I just went in, have some fun, and then I think I will start playing around the three three minute mark, somewhere along there. But anyways, um, so my season ended and we are currently in Platinum 1. We did have good wars and bad wars. We did lose a couple of good players throughout the season. Um, we did lose one of my friends, Wakas, like I mentioned. We did lose a few guys. And my problem was um, because of the gifting event, Kabam locked a lot of players within the same alliance that they gifted from. Now, doing that, what, what that means was a lot of people did not change or switch alliances because everyone wanted the rewards from the gifting event. Now, that being said, when you do kick someone or when someone leaves, it leaves a hole that is sometimes difficult to fill with the right players. But at the end of the day, the season itself was not bad. So I would say that because of the gifting, it's just, you could not take this um, this season seriously. Um, a couple of guys got banned and that helped a couple of alliances like myself. Um, when alliances were down two players, it just left a hole that other alliances just came up. Um, this season put a lot of alliances in perspective that a lot of alliances are actually disbanding, which is funny <laughs> to me. Um, but I do understand. Um, it is a lot of work to run alliances and thank goodness um, Abdullah has ran RK30 very, very well. Um, I've been in it for two seasons in RK30 and it was fun now i said it was fun because i've decided that it's time for me to move on um i am going to move on to another alliance and i will be doing more alliance war videos along with um setting up battle groups so um i just want to give a special thank um thank you to um the guys in RK30 for having me for two seasons. Um, it has been fun. Um, season one was fantastic. Um, season two for me was, um, it was just, I cannot put it in words, but it, it, it has been eventful. Um, I have met a few great guys. I've seen a few good gameplays from guys. Um, the alliance in itself is moving in the right direction. Um, RK30, I think, was in Platinum 3 or Platinum 2. But currently, they have proved to be... They proved to themselves that they could remain in Platinum 1. Or they could push for Masters. Which I most definitely think they will do in Season 24. They will... It will be tough. But I think with the new addition that's coming in, they will be able to get Masters. So that's going to be a good one to look out for. I myself, um, I have decided to help out another alliance and and just do what I do or what I know to do best, which is um, alliance wars, setting up alliance wars, defense, etc. You know, the things that make the game a lot more interesting for me. Currently, um, Abdullah, um, who actually leads um, RK30, does have a good game plan for the upcoming season. And it will be interesting to see what they can pull out of the bag. So, um, I just want to give another shout out to Gundrilla, who currently has the one of the, the best seasons I've ever seen. Um, perfect. 
basically um he has 87 and oh i think perfect season um a few boss kills and a lot of minis under his belt so shout out to gundrilla sad th sad thing about it is he is also retiring um he is like that's that's a shocker because having a perfect season for your last season it's always like wow what is happening to this game i am inevitable i am group I am inevitable. I am Groot. I am inevitable. I am Groot. I am inevitable. I am Groot. And I'm Batman. Oh, snap. Because I'm Batman. And a lot of people, um, I should say, are losing the love for the game. We just have to find it in different ways. Um, who else? Shout out to Nippon who had me in the Alliance. Great guys there, I could tell you. Um, the troll of all, Ult some guy i i don't even know what his name is that guy is just a pain in the butt but he did have a good season as well shout out to notch he had a great season this season last season and shout out to the guys who are actually like who actually learned throughout the season um it has been great but all good things must come to an end um I did enjoy playing in RK30. I will actually miss a bunch of the guys in RK30. And hopefully I could still see a few good gameplays from them in the next season. So what is it what is in it for me now? Um I'm just gonna focus on a few characters who I really enjoy and I'm gonna make videos for you guys to show you why I do love certain characters. Because I have been looking on YouTube at different um, gameplays from different people and realized that we are missing a lot of good gameplays from champions that people always look over. Now, um, that being said, peace.